The AGU Christmas Camp is all about getting our national squad players, our coaches, our officials, managers, psychologists, physios, everybody that works in the national coaching programme and in, on the EGU coaching programme together for education, for some fun team building sessions and a lot of presentations we can do away from the golf course. The sessions fall into educational sessions where we bring in experts from different fields to make presentations. And then we have the physical sessions whereby the guys are training physically with the great facilities we have here at Loughborough. It allows us access to the swimming pool. Um, we have the, the gymnasium and the power base suite, which allows the guys to train and to lift weights that we wouldn't necessarily have at other golf facilities. And of course, we have accommodation on site here at Burley Court and all the presentation rooms are within the hotel so it can all be coordinated for all the national squads and the regional coaching managers to work together. Winning in match play team events from what I've seen from Ryder Cups, Water Cups, Solheim Cups, the team that holds the most packs and who, whose short game is in order generally comes out with the winners. The problem for golf and for these boys is they've chosen a sport where you don't get yourself fit enough by playing your sport so they have to do something else. Most of the time they do that in their gym, cycling, going on treadmills, steppers, rowing machines or swimming because that raises the heart rate and by raising your heart rate what you do is you get your body to stimulate all those great adaptations that make you fitter. Swimming was good, yeah, it was, uh, it was good fun, it was good, good activity for sort of general fitness and it was a good sort of team building exercise as well, I think all the lads enjoyed getting together and encouraging each other. They're a great bunch of boys to work with and they're incredibly competitive all the time. So towards the end of the session we did lots of sprints and we did some relays where we got them to work in teams and then we really bring out their competitive edge. England provided five players to the victorious Walker Cup team this year. Tom Lewis, Andy Sullivan, Jack Senior, Stiggy Hodgson and Stephen Brown. All of those players sat where you are now last year. Communication is the key here this week. Everybody's involved in the whole process, so we can gain an enormous amount from everybody communicating and understanding what we're all about and what we want to achieve and, and how we're going to get there. The players at, at, at any level within the English system are given truly fantastic opportunities um, and they should be grabbed with both hands. I mean, you know, we've got three players going down to, down to Australia for six weeks. I mean, for a young lad, that's got to be a dream, you know, a dream ticket, and uh, make the most of it, I say.